Hi, this is Brian with Jones Works. Today in this video I'll be installing Watchtower Library 2013 on the application Watchtower Library from Mac. Here I've got the uh, Watchtower Library running, um, the uh, bookshelf that is, with uh, the older version 2012. I inserted the Watchtower Library 2013 CD into the computer and we can see that uh, appears on uh, my desktop. Then I'm going to right click and open it. And when I do that, we see that there's a setup.exe application. So here we'll click and drag it down into the uh, bookshelf. And you see the uh, green plus symbol. And then just release it and uh, be patient your computer might not be as fast as this one and uh, it might take a minute or even more for it to actually initialize but we can see here that it's uh, starting to go through the setup process and apologize for it being cut off here I can't move it so I'm just gonna click next and agree take the defaults here install and now it's going through the install process and again this process might take a little bit as well depending on the speed of your computer so we'll probably just uh, fast forward a bit in the video so we don't waste everybody's time and then bring it to completion and then we'll start up the 2013 library alright so installation has now completed so I'll just click on the finish button down here and uh, I would say it probably took probably about three or four minutes for it to completely install so now we're done with our CD we can eject that and let's go ahead and run the 2013 library just by double clicking so we saw the splash screen came up quickly and uh, here's the first window that we usually get about asking if we want to print out the getting started document I'll say no and then after doing that then the uh, watch our library is actually running now and uh, as you can see it's got the 2014 uh, daily text. So that's it. That's how you install the Watchtower Library uh, for the next year on the Watchtower Library for Mac. Thanks for watching.